Charles and Ray Eames Furniture Values This chair, designed in 1946, was one of the Eames' earliest designs. It reflects their firm belief in functionalism. Not a lot of extraneous matter exists in this spare piece, whose shape is described in the book American Furniture, 1620 to the present as a rectangle about to turn into an oval, the transformation being arrested at a point midway between. Eames' pieces were designed for easy mass production, composed of adaptable, interchangeable parts. Benefiting from developments in manufacturing techniques during World War II, they primarily used industrial materials, like plywood, lacquered masonite, laminate, and zinc-plated steel, all of which are found in this storage cabinet. It went for $15,000 at auction. Originally intended just to be a prototype, this reclining lounge chair with ottoman became one of the Eames' greatest hits. The rosewood plywood and leather seats impart a richness to the piece, which otherwise reflects the characteristically light look of their designs, in fact, the chair and ottoman almost seem to be floating in space, barely anchored by their aluminum swivel bases. They fetched $7,500 at auction. Made of a single piece of molded fiberglass, the shell armchair was another quintessential Eames design. Although it looks severe, it was actually carefully contoured to the shape of the human frame, for comfortable seating. Inheritors of the international style, the Eames were also pioneers of ergonomic design. Panels of bright colors enlivened the utilitarian nature of Eames pieces, many of which were designed for offices and manufactured by the Herman Miller Furniture Company of Michigan. This tall storage cabinet, a variation of the usual model, with four sets of doors, was the top-selling single piece of furniture at the auction, fetching $18,750. Though best known for their chairs and storage units, the Eames designed a variety of furniture. This table, a prototype, displays their characteristic combination of wood, Paldau plywood, in this case, and metal, zinc-plated steel. A fourth leg was added before the table went into production, so this rare specimen garnered $5,000 at auction. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.